The city of Breckenridge is implementing improvement plans for its infrastructure. One of the main concerns is the fire station, which is headquartered in the old municipal building, which hasn't had serious renovations in decades. The city has just approved the first phase of the project, which would build a completely new fire station. Our Mariah Williams has the details. At the Breckenridge Fire Station, when a call comes, it's a grab-and-go situation. Every call, the guys, there's a 100-year-old cement staircase that they got to go up and down that um, because it's multi-layered level building. The easiest path, the poles and spiral staircase, aren't how they get to the trucks. Instead, it's a race through the building. It, it was not set up to be a fire station as it is now. Um, so there's just a lot of, it's a big cement building that we can't really move stuff around. Um, the layout's not great. So there's a lot of things logistically wise that just wouldn't work. Now the city has approved phase one of a three phase plan for the station for improvement to the old building. We put them in temporary living quarters on the north parking lot. Um, and then we demolish the fire station and then we build a new modest fire station. City manager Cynthia Northrop says the best plan of action is to tear down and start again. But the biggest issue is the cost. You're looking at anywhere from three to five million. And limited resources are a challenge for us, but we don't want our firefighters living in, you know, not good living conditions. The firefighters currently combating engine fumes from the truck bay below the living quarters will move to the parking lot until the funding and logistics are resolved for the next phases. There's some growing pains that it's just, it's a process. Um, I'd love to be able to have a new building set here tomorrow, and but it doesn't work that way. A small inconvenience before living in good conditions, giving the community better and faster care. Reporting in Abilene, I'm Mariah Williams, KRBC, Abilene Local News. Thank you, Mariah. The city does not have a set timeline for this project, but they hope there will be major improvements within the next five years.